Hi everyone! Uh, in this video we will be looking into the details of a visual search suggestion system and how we can build visual search suggestions for IE8. But first of all let's go and see what visual search suggestion is. So visual search suggestion is a uh, different way of showing the uh, search results in IE8. So we had the search providers in IE7 and we can use them in IE8 as well of course. So when we write something in here, let's say my name and I hit enter, I instantly go to bing.com and I got the results. Okay? So, uh, but maybe I could see the result instantly in this text box like the autocomplete text boxes we are using in Ajax or different uh, websites. So a visual search suggestion is providing a different experience. So I will show uh, you a little visual search suggestion system. So I have a different provider in here. That's a community website. I will switch to it and look at the results. So those are the history uh, searches I made and those results are kind of different because they got pictures as well. So let's hit enter and see what we will get as result on the web page. I got two different results. Those are the same images. Those are the same results actually. This is the result I saw when I searched inside my IE8 search box. IE8 was able to go to the website make a query about this search and get the result instantly to show me uh, in this drop-down list and I, I am able to see the result without navigating to a web page and just pick the result I want and now I do navigate to the web page but I, I see the exact result I was looking for. So how we can build such visual search suggestion systems? So first of all let's go to Visual Studio. So this is the website I built and this is the website you can find in server our DVD. Uh, in this website uh, I got a search provider. So this search provider uh, syntax is not something very different. The only difference here is this line. So accept this line. This is a search provider uh, we already built for IE7 but actually this additional line makes the whole thing a little bit different. This is the line where we add the search suggestion and the visual suggestion system. Because normally this open source description file just points to an HTML URL and the user is redirected to this URL when, it, when it, he hits the enter button. But instead of that, I got a secondary suggestion system source. So IE8 will be able to pick this line and will understand that this search provider provides search suggestions as well. And here is a different URL where IE8 can find the results instantly. Of course, IE8 should be able to understand whatever we send. And in order to provide that system, we will uh, need to build a specific structured XML source for search suggestions. So what's the structure? Let's go to this sample XML file. Oops. Let's go to our website then. So I got a simple web page in here. This web page is building an XML source and output outputs it to the response. This is the XML structure, this is the syntax you need to build. The root element is a source suggestion element. I got a query and inside the query I am sending the keyword that IE8 has already provided me. So IE8 will be sending uh, the search terms that the user writes in IE8 search box to me and the keyword here is search and in my web file of course I will be re requesting the query with the same keyword. I get the keyword that the user has written and I am sending it back to the 
uh, IE8 again because IE8 will be validating if he ga he gets the right result. So let's say I am asking for Darren, and when the result comes, the result comes by saying that it's the result of Darren. So inside this search suggestion tag, I got different things like section title, first section. You can have different sections in the search suggestion drop-down list. And of course, you can have items, the search results, each result at a text, a description, of course, a URL. When I click one of the results, I will be navigating to this uh, web, web URL website. And each item can have a different image. Those images, actually, uh, they need to be in the same URL as the target but whatever it is so here is my result the text the name of my result the description the URL at the image and if you want you can have separators okay the other results the first section and other results inside this search maybe you can use them and I got a different uh, item again so let's see uh, how it works of course I will uh, need a little uh, image if I can so let's go to the website we already investigated so uh, I'll just pick this little picture oops let's go ahead and find where our project is save it to the same place okay 12 that Jeff is okay So now here it is, and of course I will need the right URL, okay, the full path. Here are the images, okay. Okay, the second one has no image at all. So this is the result I will be sending each time. Of course, uh, this example is it. Uh, typed example so uh, this is embedded inside my code but in your real life projects you will be needing to connect to your database make the search and build all those uh, XML items on the fly so let's go and see how this XML source first of all works actually you could uh, better do this with a generic handle but anyway search equals the turn so here is my source, I guess. Source suggestion. The query is here. First title, and here are the. Okay, wonderful. Why it didn't show the picture? Okay, here it is. Anyway, I guess it will be working in the search provider box. And this is the uh, search description file, but of course you users will need to add this search provider to their uh, machines. So I got a I got a default ASPX. I got a add search provider text in here, and when I click this this text, I will be going to a different URL. What will be the URL? The URL will be the URL of this XML file. So let's go ahead and find it's URL okay passed in here I'm using the, the window external ad search provider Java secret function which is uh, a specific function for IE8 uh, and when I call this function I am giving a parameter the parameter is the full URL of my search description XML uh, file and the users will be able to add this provider uh, to their machine so let's go ahead and view this web page in IE8. So I got the ad search provider text. When I click on it, uh, the search installation screen comes. Uh, the name of the search uh, provider is Terran Search. Uh, and I want to use the search suggestions from this provider as well. The checkbox is already uh, checked. Add it. So here it is. I am choosing the search provider we built and when I type something I got my 
search results, the visual search results coming from my XML source. So this is the way visual search suggestion works. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, this is my mail. You can just send any questions you got. Uh, see you later.